Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie the RS2. This is a fantastic fly, originated by Rim Chung. Very easy to tie and very, very effective. We've got a straight eyed dry fly hook here in the vise. You can use a Daiichi 1110 or a Tiemco 101. I've got some size 16 knot thread. I'm going to start behind the eye of the hook and wrap about halfway back. Trim off my excess thread. I'm going to take two dun colored micro fibbits. And tie those in on top of the hook. Alternatively, you can tie them in one at a time but I'd just tie them in two at a time to make the fly go a little faster. And you want these tails to be about the length of the hook shank. And what I mean by that is, just use my scissor points here, there's the length of the hook shank there, the straight part of the hook. And if we use that scissor point as a measurement from the back of the hook, we want our tails to go back about that far. So we'll pull those tails down, do a little measurement, still a little long there, let's pull them back a little bit further, okay, now we'll continue back to the back of the hook, just to the end of the hook shank, what I do at the end of the hook shank here is I'll push the fibbits up with my finger till I find them and then I can separate them with a couple wraps of thread and I'll go underneath both of them by going down and under wrap underneath both that'll prop them up just do some final tweaking with my fingers to make sure that they're split correctly looks about right Trim off the excess fibbits in the front. Now we'll take some beaver dubbing. This is just a natural gray beaver dubbing, which is a great all-purpose color for this fly. Get a noodle of dubbing going here. I try to tie these pretty sparse. So don't use too much dubbing. If you're having trouble with dubbing, check out the video that we put out a few weeks back on how to use dubbing. I'm going to start my wrap right in front of the tails. And after I've made my first wrap of dubbing, I'll go back and just tighten up the entire noodle of dubbing. Then I can progress forward towards the eye of the hook, periodically just stop and tighten up the dubbing. And we'll get right up towards the eye of the hook. And at the eye, we're going to tie in the wing of this fly, which is made up of the after Part of a saddle hackle feather, this fluffy stuff at the bottom end of the feather. Take a clump of that, peel that off the stem. Just trim the ends up a little bit before I tie them in, and I'm going to tie them in. Pretty close to the eye there. Don't crowd your eye or else you'll end up with a fly that's going to be almost impossible to thread onto your tippet. Once that's tied in, we're going to take another small clump of beaver dubbing. Pull 
apply that to the thread make a wrap in front of the wing and then to make this wing stand up we're going to come behind it twice and then finish the fly by dubbing in front of the wing after you've gone behind the wing a couple times. I'm going to grab just a tiny bit more dubbing and add that on. Once I'm done with the head there, do a three turn whip finish right behind the eye of the hook. Trim off our excess. Now we can trim the wing, lift it up. Trim it off, do some final tweaks of the tail there, and there we have an RS2. Tie a bunch of these up if you haven't already. Fantastic fly just prior to a, a betis emergence, or during a betis emergence when the nymphs are coming off the bottom, fish start feeding in the middle uh, water column, middle of the water column killer fly. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We just finished tying the RS2. You can watch more videos at our website flyfishsd.com and you can purchase the materials to tie these flies at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.